forward on the Sentencing Commission and do it by voice vote. Uh, since uh, 2018, as the Chairman said, the Commission hasn't been able to amend the sentencing guidelines because it lacks the number of commissioners for a quorum. If these nominees are confirmed, they'll be able to uh, do their work. Uh, Congress created the Commission to promote transparency and improve federal sentencing. It's also tasked with providing information so that Congress can make evidence-based policy decisions about sentencing. Uh, because it's a bipartisan agency, uh, we won't all agree with the policy positions put forward by the members, but it's important that the Commission be able to get the work fixing the issues that have come up with the guidelines since 2018. Now to the judicial nominees, I'll be supporting Judge Haynes. Uh, I'll also be voting for Judge Pan to get a uh, report out of committee. I've got further study to do on her nomination before I decide how I would vote on the floor. Uh, I'll also vote no on the Office of Legislative Affairs nominee. I'm doing so because the Justice Department's failure to be responsive to our committee's oversight requests I've discussed the department's failures many times at this very meeting. Uh, I've done the same on the Senate floor and very appropriately with the Attorney General. The department has failed to provide responsive letters and production to this committee. The department will also say that they've responded to our letters. You've heard me say before that that's not a very accurate way of, uh, an honest way of saying that they have responded to our letters because they simply put words on a piece of paper. That's not responsiveness. Answering our questions, producing documents is a way to measure responsiveness. Now this is a bipartisan problem. When I say that, this is what I mean. Whether a Republican or Democrat is in charge of the Justice Department, that department has a history of failure, of being transparent to the United States Congress. I will not l let up on congressional oversight. The public's business ought to be public. I owe it to the people of Iowa, and maybe to the entire country, to hold the executive branch accountable. And I'll continue that fight regardless of whether we have a Republican or Democrat in charge of it. I yield. Thanks, Senator Grassley. Senator Feinstein?